Hey guys, Josh Spoon with The Producer's Kitchen, and we're here to talk about our first Max for Live device, getting started, understanding the small little nuances um, of Max for Live. We're going to be working with bangs and things. So uh, the word bang is pretty synonymous with uh, Max, which is the programming language that Live uses uh, to be able to use Max for Live. So it's like Max inside of Live, and that's why it's called Max for Live. And bangs are just a super important part of it. It makes things kind of flow. It's almost like the heartbeat of Max. So we're going to look at how bangs work and how bangs get sent from object to object to be able to create things. So let's take a look. So first off, before we get started, um, you may not even have Max for Live installed. So the first thing we want to do is go to the web and download Max for Live. If you go to Preferences and you go to File Folder, here's uh, Max application and you can hit browse and navigate to it if you have it if you haven't downloaded it you can click the download latest version of Max it's gonna go and grab it for you once it's done downloading you'll then install it just like you do any other application one thing to know um, for Mac especially I don't know about for a PC you need to download this Java for OS X um, right here so if you go to this link and download it install that as well and you should be good to go with Max for Life. Now that we've got the installation out of the way, uh, when you go to the categories, so open up the browser, Max for Life, you now should see Max Audio Effect, Max Instrument, and Max MIDI Effect. So if I open these guys, there's going to be a ton of stuff that I have in here, but I'm just going to drag in each one of these into a MIDI track so you can see what it looks like. Okay, so I now have a max MIDI effect, a max instrument, and a max audio effect. And we can see that uh, it has a couple of little things here. And these are called objects. So these guys right here, object, 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 object. And they are strung together by patch cables. That's how each object communicates to one another. I don't know the technical name, but these are low speed patch cables. Um, and these are high-speed patch cables, essentially. So as you can see, this is an audio effect. And audio streams a lot faster than just like numbers and floats and things like that. So we're going to spend uh, the majority of our time just in the uh, Max MIDI effect. So it looks just like any other Ableton Live device. And we can see right here, it has the device on off. It has the uh, save preset, even the hot swap. But this guy right over here is a little bit different. And if we open up the info view, you'll see that it says it's an edit button. So we can edit Max for Live devices and any Max for Live device. If you bought one, if you got one for free, you can edit it. You can change it. You can also borrow code. So if you've ever worked with HTML, you know that you can just go to any site and grab HTML and then repurpose it for your site. Same thing for Max for Live. It's definitely not. Uh, advisable or nice to steal someone else's code and then <laughs> sell it as yours or like steal a majority of someone else's code and sell it as yours or something like that but if you're building a device for yourself or even for free and you're using small little bits that's not necessarily in my opinion a big deal but just don't go and start taking stuff that you've paid for and repurposing it and distributing it out to everyone so just a little cautionary thing if you hit edit we get this window that pops up. So this uh, patcher window comes up and I'm gonna open this as big as it'll go. And let's take a look around here. We've got a lot of different things all around the sides. And up here is where you can easily pop out different objects. And as you can see, there are, uh, there's the name and then there's the shortcut. So if you wanna open up the object, you've got N, message M, comment C, toggle T and as we go through we'll see the others. Uh, the one thing that I like is you can click this and easily format different objects. We can color code and do all sorts of things like that as well. Uh, to our left here um, we have a file browser so we can find different types of snippets and different things inside of uh, Max. I'm not going to go too deep into that but here also is where you can find objects and you can sort them. So. Um, we're dealing with a lot of Mac stuff here, which is a lot of calculations. Uh, jitter is more uh, video, 
And then there's other things like Mira, which is using iPad and stuff like that. Max for Live comes with a lot of just default videos that you can use if you're trying to do some jitter things, um, images that you can use, uh, snippets. So this is little code that you're reusing over and over again. Um, I have two, which is uh, get tracks. I think I've made this track and invert value. So when I just drop these guys on here, this is a patch with the info on how to get tracks um, inside of Ableton Live. And we'll talk about navigating um, the LOM, the live object model, in a later video. So that's a little bit about snippets. Um, there's You can also, in uh, Max 7, you can do um, plugins. So you can add plugins in, which is pretty crazy. Um, Vizzle, Beep, which are modules to be able to quickly create video and um, different uh, Max objects like Beep will allow you to have an ADSR really quickly if you want to build an instrument instead of pulling everything together uh, using all individual Max objects. This will just build it all for you. Um, to our right, we have the inspector window, window, which is very important. We'll talk about that in a second. Reference, so this is documentation. Reference and help is your friend. If you don't know what you're doing, definitely open this up. Look at reference and help. Max console, which will tell me different alerts and messages that are coming through. Um, there's lessons in here. The lessons are really great. You can open them and mess with them. And um, snapshots, I don't really use those much. I'm not gonna talk about them. You can maybe find that in another video. So let's look at what we got here. I'm going to zoom in a little bit and we've got a couple of little objects we can click on them so we've got one here it says uh, MIDI from live and if we right click on that we can see what type of object it is and it says open comment help open comment reference so help is where you I usually go because you can easily get in and learn about it and mess with things so you see it has a definition of what comment is. It tells you different ways that you can send messages to a comment. See if I click on this, this is a message. Um, we'll talk about it a little bit more. I can send different comments. I can also change the way it looks. So you can do this all inside of a help file and learn about the objects that you're putting in here. So it's very, very helpful. And I'll close this. Next, we have an object called MIDI in. And if I right click on that, it gives me the information on MIDI in. So you can learn about that as well. MIDI out. So essentially what's happening, this is a patch cable. MIDI's coming in from Ableton Live, going through MIDI in, coming through the patch cable and just going completely out. So nothing is happening at all. And then these messages are kind of just letting you know what's, what's going on in here. This is a device vertical limit, so this is how big the device um, can be. So you kind of divide, design inside of this area right here. Cool, so in this first video, we're not really going to mess with this. We're going to let it do its thing, and we're going to build something off to the side. So to get started here with uh, making some bangs and some messages, I'm going to press B, which is going to make a button. And if we right click, we'll see that um, button click sends a bang. See? Bang. In the output, bang. So it printed out to the console, bang, because this object says print, pop up, one, bang. Cool. So actually what I want to do, I'm going to go back, and I'm going to hit this unlock. So each packager has an unlock. And I'm going to nab this. So I'm going to click on it, Command C, Command P. So I'm going to paste that in. So I'm going to connect that. See what I just did? I just grabbed this, what's called an outlet, and put it into the inlet. And then now I'm going to press Command and click. So if I try to click on this right now, it's just going to select it just to click. But if I hit Command click, it's going to actually do what would be the operation whenever you're just using it as a regular device. You see, bang, 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 bang. All right, now let's add a message to this. So to make a message, I'm just going to press M. 
and I'm going to take my uh, patch cable and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it to this first one. So it says message, trigger message, set it to change. So whenever I hit this, it's going to make a change happen. The thing is, is that there is no information in here for it to send a change out of. So this one um, pushes a message and this one sets a message. So I'm going to hold down option to duplicate. So I'm going to have another bang. Drag that there. And then I'm going to command click on this one. So that's going to put a bang into this message. And then I'm going to connect this outlet to this inlet from the bang to the print. So I've set the bang into the message here. And then I'm going to command click and send the bang. See? So set and send. This is very, very useful when you start building Max for Life devices. What I'm going to do is kind of nicely order this a little bit. You can style your chords to kind of, if you're really into that, you can do route patch chords. And it'll make it a little bit nicer. Cool. So now I'm able to set and send a bang message. So let's right click, let's look at message, and we'll see that there's a lot of different things that you can do in a message. Um, we have set, which clears. Um, we have prepend, append. You can um, set a comment. So if we look over here, it gives you a breakdown of all the things that you can send into and out of message. So we have arguments that change kind of the way that message works, the types of messages that can be sent, um, the attributes to change the way it looks. Uh, and then the C also is super huge if you are working with any type of um, object that you're kind of confused about, or you may wonder if there's a better or similar object. C also is very helpful, and it also has little links to tutorials. So I have this uh, set right here. And so I'm going to use set to reset this guy. So I'm going to hit M and I'm going to type set. Press enter. And then I'm just going to connect that to the first inlet of bang. And then I can command click and then it'll reset. It'll clear everything. So when I first started using Max for Live, I thought it was kind of weird because I come from a programming um, background. And usually, if you have two arguments, they're only two arguments, that, two things that could be sent in. So let's say this is argument one and this is argument two. Uh, you can only send like one thing and then a second thing. You can't send like six things <laughs> into one argument. Just so you know that multiple things can be set into um, into one inlet. Okay, I'm gonna move this guy down. I'm gonna make another message here. I'm gonna take this outlet, put it into here. And then I'm going to have another message. I'm gonna put a nice little message spelled it wrong any smashing pumpkins fans will understand this line okay so now i have append so append is if you remember one of the arguments that i could send into a message so i'm gonna add this to the first inlet which will send i'm also going to grab the set and attach it to the inlet of this message as well. Then I'm gonna take the output and put it to print. So we'll get a message that adds all of this up and we'll also get it sent to um, the Max console. So I'm gonna set uh, the bang and then I'm going to send it. So we've got bang, we've got bang, and then I'm gonna append this message. And so if I drag this, I can widen this out. So we've got bang, bang, you're dead, hole in your head. Like I said before, you can tidy things up. So let's kind of tidy this up a little bit. I'm going to grab all of these, move it over. And let's see. 
let's do that. Um, line that up together. Set. I can select two of these with option. And I can tell them route patch chords. Cool. So we don't necessarily have a MIDI effect right now or an audio effect or any type of effect. We just have a little basic understanding of Max. So that's how you get going in uh, Max for Live, just understanding how information flows using bangs and messages. Also how to use the Max console, a little bit about the help amongst all the objects that are available. Uh, check out the next video in the series in the Max for Live Madness. And I'm Josh Spoon, Producer's Kitchen, and I'll see you later.